I was at an ice cream shop a couple weeks ago and I hear from over my shoulder, hey, I just used one of your videos. I turned around and it turned out to be a subscriber that also lives here in town. We got to talking and he asked me about doing a series of videos that show some everyday items tied down specifically in a truck bed. So that's what we're gonna do, starting with this bicycle. Today we are using 5 16 Paramax Imperial Red and we're gonna use the entire thousand foot spool to tie this vibe, but we're not gonna do that. But it will be easier for you to see what I'm doing with this big Paramax here. Now before we figure out how much we're going to need to tie this bike down, quick word here, if you'd like to support my channel, please visit my shop, awesomeforsale.com. For all of November, there is free shipping on every U.S. order. You just have to use the code THANKS. So what we're going to do is take this bike, we're going to stand it up in the middle of the bed, and we're going to use the four corners to tie it off. Now the bed is about five feet wide, and so we're going to go from corner to corner, that'll be five feet, and then in the back, that'll be ten feet to account for the height of the bicycle, probably another five feet. And then we have the distance from front to back, so that's another five. So we're gonna go with 20 feet. And I know that the distance between my outstretched arms is about five feet. So I'm just gonna do this four times. And I bought a Marlin Spike knife. A little video on that coming up here soon. We'll start at the front right corner of our truck bed. We're gonna go through our acre point once, go through twice. And now we'll take our bitter end here go underneath our standing end and poke it right back through the two turns we just made. Pull everything tight and I'll let you tell me in the comments what knot this is. From our anchor point, we'll give a twist on our rope and we're gonna throw this around our first handle. Let's pull that tight. Now we'll go over the top here, we'll go underneath and we'll thread it through. And we've basically tied a clove hitch around our handlebars. Now what you want to do is lean the bike a little to your right because as you pull in the tension, it's going to pull it straight up. Next, all we have to do is run this end through that corner anchor. So from one corner to the handlebars to the other corner, all the way to the back. And now we're going to go around our seat. But well, we got a problem here, look. The other anchor's all the way over there and we're short. Hmm. This is 20 feet and I underestimated. So here's a couple things we can do. One is we can skip this anchor altogether. And now we're just gonna go around our seat and straight to the other anchor. And so that's just here. We're gonna go one full turn around our seat. We're at our last anchor. We'll thread it through. And then we're gonna thread it through one more time, but we're gonna make sure that we're wrapping underneath the first turn, okay? Then what we're gonna do is push this turn up so that our free end here is underneath the standing end, okay? There you go, just like that. That way when I pull, it helps lock itself down with the tension I pull in. There we go. And this isn't super secure, but what we can do is just add a couple half hitches on top and then that'll be plenty. There's one and two. So here we are, it's only a three point tie down. Ideally it'd be four, we'll do that next because this is not gonna have the counter pressure you want to keep it from bouncing, but it is gonna hold it upright. And we'll cut ourselves another 10 feet. So here we are, measure twice, cut once, and we gotta join these two ropes together. Now, what would you recommend? Please leave it in the comments. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tie in an overhand knot on one side, take the other side, and I'm gonna trace it right on through the overhand knot, just like I did the first time. So. From this end, I'm gonna poke it through and just trace it all the way around and poke it out. There we go. We have two overlying overhand knots. And this is called a water knot, extremely stable. Okay, now we are going through our third anchor point there. We're gonna go over the seat and give it a wrap. There we go. Got our coil going through there. Now let's go back down to our fourth anchor point. When I pull on this final end, you can see the front tire is coming away from the truck bed. And these four strands are gonna keep it nice and centered in the bed. So one of my favorite ways to do a tie off is with a couple carabiners. You pull a bite into your rope, thread it through both of them, and then go around everything and tie in a cow hitch just along the spine here. Now you just have to clip in once Clip in twice, and I'll pull down and lock in all my tension. <laughs> 
then I'll just finish this off with a couple half hitches. To undo it, I'll just go right back through the gates. Now we could also tie it off the same way we did the first time. Instead of doing that, I'm going to incorporate my mistake here and I'm going to make it part of my final tie down. I'm just going to go around, go underneath, and I'll pull tight and lock in my tension. There we go. And I'll finish it off with a couple half hitches. There it is from the corner to the handlebars, corner, corner, seat, and then around our fourth anchor point and using our knot to tie it all off. And if you speak another language, please leave it in the comments on how you say in your language. That's not going anywhere. <laughs>